So to tackle the question on the screen, it says the crank OA of the mechanism shown rotates clockwise about O. The end B of the link AB moves along the line PQ and FD swings about F. So we are told to obtain the locus of E for one revolution of OA. You know what? Don't be scared by the uh, diagram we're actually seeing on the screen. Yeah. This concept, if you just calm yourself down, you understand and relax. We are going, we are going to find a way through it, all right? So the very first thing we need to do is trying to replicate the diagram we have on the screen, all right? Let's try to replicate that first of all, okay? So we are told that the dimension for OA is what is 40. So with your compass, measure radius 40. Then what? Prepare a perpendicular line like this. Place it to this center and what? And draw. Okay. By the time you draw that circle, you divide this circle into what? Into 12 equal halves. Okay. So after dividing your circle into 12 equal halves, we denote this portion as our point what? As our point A. As our point A. All right. And take note of this. Take note of this. We are told that this object is what moving in what in a clockwise direction. In a clockwise direction. Okay, as you can see the direction of the arrow here. So if you don't know how to divide a circle into 12 equal halves, kindly look through uh, the link under the description below, and you will find uh, the tutorial video of how to divide a circle into what into 12 equal halves. All right. So back to uh, where we stopped. Okay, so the very next thing for us is to get the distance of our point O to point F. This area is point O. So point O to point F is what? Is 216. Is 216. And with my ruler, mark 216. This is it here. Okay. This is it here. Mark 216. So I already have it here. Then I what? I rule it what? Vertically. So from here to here now, this is my what? My point F. I'm having what 216 all right so after doing that take note of this from this line up here is what is mark 50 is mark 50 so picking my ruler i measure mark 50 upwards from buying f and this is the mark of what 50 upwards and i'm going to what project it horizontally horizontally that mark 50 up there you project it what horizontally okay after projecting it horizontally Take note, if you look at the question, the question says, the uh, end of B of the link AB moves along the line PQ, PQ and what, and FD, PQ and FD. So, the first end of this line is what, P, the second line, end is what, is Q, okay, and what, and FD. So, the very first thing we need to do is, let's get our point B here, let's get our point B, and take note, point B was slides along what, PQ. So, it moves either in this direction or what or this direction so how do we get our point b we are told that the distance between point a to b is what is 150 so with your compass measure 150 so after measuring 150 place it on point a after placing it on point a strike an arc on that line up or there okay so this very point here now is our point what is our point b yeah it is our what our point b and it's what it slides to and through it last it's it's light uh having a what a linear motion that is on a straight line either backwards or what or forward okay so after doing that i'm going to pick my ruler and join what i'm join point a to b i will join point a to b all together so ensure you make use of thin line don't make it too thick all right so as not to confuse yourself along the uh, way. Okay, we are told that our point B to C is what is 65. Now let's locate point C. So with radius 65 on your compass, place it on point B right here and what and strike an arc. So wherever the arc touches this line, that's your what that's your point C. That's your point C. So take note of that. That's your point C. Okay, so these are what these are point C. Remember, we were told that point F D swings about what it swings about point F. That is, there is a pivot here. So this F D what swings, yeah, sinusoidally like this, right? So how do we do that? Pick your compass. We told that length F D is what F D is seventy five. With length seventy five, place your compass on point F, which is here, and what and draw an arc in this one. 
Okay. Draw an arc in this one. Can you see? Okay, that's it. And we are told that the distance between point C and D is what? Is 130. So with your compass measuring 130, place it on point C, which is here, and what? And strike an arc. Strike an arc in this manner. Okay, wherever the arc touches uh, this arc here, that's your what? That's our point D. That's our point D. Okay, after getting our point D, we pick your ruler and you join what? Point C all the way towards to point D right here like this. Ten line, please. Ten line. Okay, after joining it together, we need to get our what? So we get our D to E. We get our D to E. And we're told that the distance between D and E is what? Is 75. So with your compass measuring 75, place it right on point D. Then strike an arc on line CD to get our what? To get our point E. So this junction is our what? Our E. And remember, we are plotting the logos word for point E. So I'm going to asterisk this point E. Okay, so take note of this. The same way we move around to get our point E, we are applying the same procedure to get what? Just follow me. So this mark now, we are told that OA reverse what? Clockwisely. So this area will be what? A1, A2, A3, A9, A10, A11. That is, point A is going to shift to this axis, shift to this axis, shift to this axis, shift to this axis, up to this axis, then come back here. What does that imply? That implies that as point A is shifting, point B will be what? Sliding, either towards this area or what? Or backwards, all right? Then point D, F, yeah. I've forgotten to rule it out. So this is our FD for the start, EA. Okay, so as this one is, as point A, B is moving this way, when A is switching its position, then point A, B will be swinging along this path like this. As it is swinging, then, you know, by the time FD swings, the position of what C, D will, work, will also change. All right, so as it changes, we are going to trace out the point which what which point E actually makes. All right, that is what we are going to do. So uh, for the next one now, our A1, we need to get what? B1 now. And we said AB is what? AB is 150. So with your length 150 on your compass, place it on A1 and strike on this straight line here to get our, what? our B1. Okay. So I think B1 also lies on point B here. All right, it lies here. So this is our, what? our B1 right here. Okay, if that is our B1, then we said our BC is what? BC is, is 65. We said BC is 65. Pick a compass, measure 65, and mark from point B. Okay, I haven't joined A1 to B1. All right, so from B1, we, told, we are told our BC is what? Is 65. From B1, I strike an arc. Okay, so this is my new position for, for C. So this will be my what? My C1. My C1 is right here. And we are told that. I told that DF is what is 75, and that is what that is swinging along this arc. So this arc already takes that portion. And we are told that our what our CD is what CD is 130. Okay, so from my point C1, all right, I strike an arc. Wherever the arc touches this area here, that is my what that is my D1. Okay, then from my D1, I pick my ruler, all right, I join to what to my C1 right here like this okay then from my uh c1 we are told that what uh d we are told that de is what is 75 so from my d1 i strike an arc on line c1 d1 which is this okay so this portion here is my what is my e1 so i'm going to replicate the same procedure from on point what point a2 so it shifts to h2 from point a2 place my compass with length 150 i strike an arc okay this is where it touches this straight line because we are told that point b is what is moving what to and fro on this uh, mark here so if this is my b2 i'm going to pick my ruler and drag from b2 towards to a2 from b2 to a2 so from b2 i drag a line towards to a2 Right, dragging it to A2, we are told that our B2 to C2 or our point B to point C is what is 65. So I'm going to make my compass measure 65. 
we 65 my compass i place it on point b2 i strike an arc on line a2 b2 so wherever it touches it i name it what c2 then from c2 we are told that c2 to c2 ah. is 130 so with my length 130 i place it on point what on point c okay this arc already stands on my d so placing it on point c i strike an arc in this way okay the arc i strike this way it touches my what my d so then i'm going to pick my ruler from c2 i will draw a line to what to uh d1 so c2 to d1 that is it and we're told that the length from d to e is what is 75 so picking my compass and measuring length 75 measuring length 75 of my compass i'm going to place it on point d you understand to get our what our point e so this area is my d2 which is here then from my d2 i strike another arc on c2 d2 to get my what to get my point e2 okay i am replicating the same procedure on a3 from a3 i pick my compass measuring 150 i strike an arc yeah on this straight line here this way it touches it so this is my what my b3 then picking my ruler i rule from what from b3 to what to a3 in this manner okay then b to c is what is 65 so picking my compass and measuring uh 65 measuring 65 i come to my what my b3 right here then i get my what i get my c3 online c online a3 b3 mark it out to get your what your c3 so this is my c3 then from c3 pick your compass measure what 130 c to d is what is 130 on c3 i strike an arc on point d so this is my point what's here now this is my point d3 right here then from point d3 I pick my ruler, I drag it to what? To C3. Then from C3, we are told that our C to D is what? Is 75. Picking my compass, I measure point uh, radius what? Radius 75. Then with radius 75, from mark D3 right here, I strike an arc on line C3, D3, which is this. Okay. Then I'm having my what? I'm having my what? My E3. So I'm going to replicate the same thing on what? On point A4. So from mark A4 with length AB to be 150, I place my compass, I strike an arc on the straight line here. This is my what? This is my B4. Okay, so with my ruler, I draw from what? A4 to what? To B4 right here. Okay, in this manner. A4 to B4. After doing that, we are told that our A, I mean, our B to C is what? B to C is 65. Our BC is 65 with my length. 65 all right i place it on point b4 and on line a4 i strike my arc to get my what to get my c4 then we are told that c to d is what is 130 with my length 130 all right this already starts as our fd i don't need to measure fd again then with my mark 130 on point c4 i strike an arc on point d to get my what to get my d4 then for mark d4 with my ruler i'm going to join it to what to c4 in this manner okay after doing that we are told that what mark uh d to e is what is 75 so picking my compass i'm going to measure what length 75 on my ruler with my compass okay after doing that i'm going to place it on point what point d4 right here to get my what to get my e4 so d3 is what is 75 and this is my what this is my e4 then i'm going to what asterisk it what asterisk it here okay so this same procedure is what i'm going to apply on point what on point a5 a6 a7 a8 a9 a10 a11 all right okay on mark a10 from a10 measuring 150 i strike an arc okay so this area is my what my b10 remember our b is what is sliding on point what pq is sliding so from b10 pick your ruler and draw from b10 towards to a then in this manner okay that's line b10 to a10 and remember bc is what is 65 with your compass measure radius 65 okay then from b10 on line a10 b10 which is this strike and arc okay so these are what are c10 right here then from point c10 pick your compass and measure what's 130 because 
CD is what is 130. Then from max C10, I draw an arc with length of what 130. This is my what this is my D10 right here. So I'm going to join my C10 and D10 now all together. Okay, C10 to D10. This is it. I draw. Okay. On line C10 D10, pick your compass and measure length 75. All right. With your compass, measure length 75. With length 75 on D10, on line C10 D10, which is this strike and what an arc like this to get your what? To get your E10. On, on another point, E10 asterisk it so as not to get confused. Okay, so I am applying the same trick on what on point A11. Point A11 to B11 is what is 150. So I strike an arc with 150. I have my what my B11 touching this straight line here. So then from B11, I draw a line to here to point A11 in this manner. In this manner, I will told that A sorry, we are told that B C is what is 65. If my compass, I measure radius what 65. Then from my B11, which is this right here, okay, from my B11 here, and on line A11, B11, which is this, I strike and what I strike an arc, and this is my what this is my C11 right here. Then from my C11, measuring length of what of 130 from C11, which is uh, this, okay, I'm going to strike an arc on point D, okay. So striking an arc here now, this is my what this is my point D11. Then Aligning C11 to D11 in this manner, like this. I'm going to what? draw a line. So ensure you are using thin line for this and make sure you are not confused with the amount of lines you are drawing, all right? So then we are told that our, our, our D to E is what is 75. So with length 75 from my D11, okay, maintaining D to what? C11. This is it here, this line here. So I strike an arc on the line C D eleven C eleven D eleven to get my what to get my E eleven which is what right here. So that is it. So this is our E E one E two E three E four E five E six E seven E eight E nine E ten and E eleven. So all you have to do now is just pick your French curve or flexible curve and join each of the points together to get the locus for what for point E. Okay, so that is the curve made on point of E. So that is the solution to this particular problem. Yeah, you can see that it's actually easy if you follow the procedures one after the other. So what we did is replicating the same procedure which we used to go to point A, B, C, D, E, and F. So replicating it, you are going to get the other points using the same words, using the same technique. So kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.